Okay, so we've looked at nested table expressions, uh, which are selects inside of select statements. And the nested table expressions in particular went in the from clause. And we've actually seen this example already written a different way, written with a nested table expression. We're in the from clause of a select like this, we embedded this thing. Right, so the uh, nice thing about table expressions in SQL, is a, a select statement produces a table as a result. It's got columns and rows. What's the input to a select statement? Tables with columns and rows. So we can build select statements on top of select statements. So anytime you find yourself with a two-step process, where first I need to go get this data and reformat and transform somehow, and then I need to query that, uh, you find, I find a lot of people actually, okay, I run my first query, I cut and paste, I put it in a spreadsheet, and then I run some kind of analytics on the spreadsheet. Uh, anytime you need, you find yourself doing that, see if you can't combine the two because selects can be written on other select statements. So uh, in, this one, in this case, I'm rewriting this though, not as a nested table expression, but as a common table expression. Common table expressions are a little bit newer uh, than nested table expressions, but I'm going to get the same answer here uh, as the previous example when we had this actually embedded in the from clause. So the, the syntax is a little different here also. I use this keyword with. Depthav is a name of a table that I'm, you know, that I've come up with. Okay. And the uh, name of this table can be up to 128 characters long if you're using DB2 or SQL Server. It can be up to 30 characters long if you're using Oracle. Okay. The same limits that we have for the names of tables on all those platforms. Uh, 128 characters is a little bit too long for a table name. Let's try and keep it you know, something more reasonable. But I'm calling my little table here depthav. And this with syntax says, Take this statement, run it, build me a little table in memory that looks like this. And then when I reference depthav down here, I'm actually querying this thing that was already built for me. Okay. Barbara, you have a question? I do. Uh, why would I use a common table expression instead of a nested table okay. expression? Yeah, that's a great question. So we looked at nested table expressions and we already said, I could write this the old way, right? Nested table expression where I embed it in the from clause, or I can do it this way with a common table expression. You know, which is one better than the other? And I'm trying to avoid the words always and never as much as I can. I find I get myself in trouble with those. Uh, and you see an awful lot of the old kind nested table expressions out there just because they've been around longer. But this common table expression does offer you a lot more flexibility. Uh, in the way, in the things that you can do with this thing once it's built. So the nested table expression was down in a from clause, and it turns out that the only place I can use that then is for other things that are in that same query block. With a common table expression, I can use it anywhere. Okay, so I build it once, and I can use it anywhere. And we'll see an example of that where the common table expression uh, really becomes uh, more flexible than the nested table expression in just a minute. Okay, so common table expression is defined once at the beginning of the query. A nested table expression can be placed in any from clause, but then it, you can't use it outside of the, the query block in which you define it. So here's a problem uh, that makes the difference between nested table expressions and common table expressions uh, become really clear. I want to find the department uh, and the total payroll for the department that has the highest payroll. And if you think about what we have to do here, we actually have two levels of summarization going on, two levels of aggregation. First of all, we have to find the total payroll for each department. That, that will involve a sum. We're going to have to add up all the people, the salaries of the people that work in those departments. And then I want to figure out which one of those is the biggest number. So I have a sum and then a max on top of that sum. And this has kind of uh, provided some interesting uh, syntax in the past uh, prior to the advent of common table expressions. So we've got three solutions here that we could do to solve this query, pr uh, this query problem. The first one is to make friends with a DBA. Now I know all the, your, your, your DBAs are all your best friends, right? Uh, they, they always give you exactly what you ask in a timely manner. <laughs> and get them to create a view uh, that goes in the database catalog and defines that first level of aggregation. So here we're saying select the depth no and the sum of salary plus bonus, that's what we're calling payroll, the sum of all the salaries plus the bonuses, grouping by department number. 
So give me a, a view that has one row for every department and the sum, or is the sum of the salary plus uh, bonus for each department. Okay, that provides the first level of aggregation. Then I query the view. I say select stuff from debt to pay where the department total is equal to select max department total from debt to pay. So I'm finding the sum of salaries where it equals the max. That's my second level of aggregation. And you notice that I've queried this view twice. I've got the view referenced twice in my query. And when I reference a view twice in a query, uh, it's actually going to get built twice. Yeah, it's, like, it's like it was two different materializations uh, or two different merges, even if it's using view merge here, uh, that are going to happen as a result of this query. It's going to have to somehow build this sum of salary plus bonus two different times. Okay, so that's one possible solution, but probably not the best solution. Uh, using nested table expressions, which we've already looked at, uh, it is uh, a very similar thing to what's going on with the view. Everywhere you saw a depth pay in the query before, I've now just inserted a nested table expression that has that depth pay definition in it. So the advantage, the major advantage of this solution is that you do not have to make friends with the DBA. Right? You can code it yourself uh, without any help from anyone else. Uh, but the, the downside is the same as the view solution. I've got this same table expression in there twice. And it's going to have to build it twice when this query runs. Uh, the third solution, uh, which makes use of the common table expression, is first of all simpler to code, uh, and secondly, will probably perform better as well because it's only going to build that first layer of summarization once. So it's going to build a common table expression in memory. Build me a little table in memory with depth pay. I'm calling this thing depth pay, that has one row for every department and the sum of salary plus bonus for each department. So that happens first. And it kind of hangs on to that. In our case, it's going to build eight rows. Okay, so this is what comes out of our little sample data. It's eight rows of data that's going to have to hang on to in memory. Uh, and that's a good thing because I'm going to need it twice. Now I can say down here, select from depth pay where the department total is equal to select max from depth pay. I've referenced the common table expression twice, just like I did with the view. But since we built it once, we're just querying those eight rows a couple of different times. If I had to build the eight rows twice, we have a group by here, which probably involves sorting. So the materialization of this thing could be kind of expensive. We're doing that once and then referencing it twice. Uh, so that uh, is, is a one place where a common table expression provides you a lot more flexibility and functionality than a nested table expression would. In a lot of cases, you're going to be able to do the same thing either way. Uh, and like all of the stuff we've been talking about, sometimes it's a good time to try it both ways and see which one actually uh, works better from a coding perspective and which one works better from a performance perspective.